Hello everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this realistic digital painting effect in Photoshop. You can use the same method to create your own portraits and print them if you like. Please like the video and let's get started! Step 1. Create the effect. First, go to File, Open to import your image. Select your image, then click Open. Please make sure that you are working on a high quality image. If it is not, increase your image size to a value above 2000 pixels. I'll decrease my image size a little bit to explain something. Now click and hold on the History Brush tool to choose the Art History Brush. From the Brushes panel, click on this little gear icon and choose Import Brushes. You can download these brushes from the description below. After importing them, you will get six brushes like these. Select the first brush. If you've changed your image size, you will get this alert whenever you try to paint over your image. It says you can't use the Art History Brush because of the canvas size change. And to fix this, you need to open the History Panel from here. Under the History Panel, you will need to set the source of the History Brush to the Image Size command. Now try to paint and it will work pretty well. Press Ctrl and Z to undo and let's create a new layer. With the Art History Brush selected, go to the Options panel and make sure that its mode is normal with 100% opacity and a dab style and leave all other values zero. Now with your layer selected, start painting like this. As you can see, the Art History Brush paints with stylized strokes using our main image data. After finishing, and with your layer selected, create another new layer above it. Decrease the brush size to 150 pixels and start painting again. As you can see, this smaller brush shows more details than the previous one. And if I decreased it again, it will show much more details. Just keep painting over the areas that you want to increase the details of it. Let's speed up this part. After finishing, let's create another new layer. Decrease the brush size to around 50 pixels. Start painting over the main object and over any other area that you want to show more details of it. This will show you much more details than the previous two layers. You can decrease your brush size to 20 pixels depending on your image size. After finishing, go and create a new layer above the top one. Select the Splash 1 brush. Change brush size and start painting over different places like this. Always press Ctrl and Z to undo a step if you want. Let's speed up this part. Choose the second splash brush and do the same. I'm speeding these parts because they are similar. Now select the dots brush. Start clicking on different places and remember to press Ctrl and Z to undo a step if you don't like it. Change brush size depending on your image. Now, select the top layer, hold the Shift key and select layer 1. Press Ctrl and G to group all four layers. Name it Effect and let's move on to the final step. Step 2. Add textures and adjustments. First, select the Effect group and then go to File, Place Embedded. Choose any texture, then click Place. Rotate and resize it to fill the canvas. You can download these textures from the video description below. 
Now with your layer selected, go to Filter, Stylize, Emboss. Set Angle to 145, Height to 2, Amount to 120%, then click OK. Emboss Filter converts the image to grey colour, plus making embossed edges like this. Now change the Blend Mode to Overlay. This will add a texture like this to our final effect. Let's see why we're adding these textures. Here is the texture that comes with most oil painting drawings. Let's get back to our tutorial. Now let's add another texture layer. Adjust its size to fill the canvas. Apply the emboss filter with the same previous values. Change Blend Mode to Overlay. Import the last texture image. Change its size to fill the canvas, then press Enter. Apply the emboss filter. You can increase the amount value to increase the details if you like. Then click OK. Change Blend Mode to Overlay. Select the three layers by holding the Shift key, then press Ctrl and G to group them. Name the group Texture. With the group selected, let's add some adjustment layers. I'll start with Levels. Increase both Shadow and Highlights a little bit. Create a Vibrance layer. Increase Vibrance to 10 and Saturation to 5. Create a Color Balance layer. Keep moving sliders in both directions and choose the values that fit your needs. Change the Shadow's Tone and adjust it. And finally, adjust the tone of the highlights. Now let's see the before and after. That's it for today. Please like the video and subscribe for more free tutorials. Thanks for watching.